Oh, that went a long way. I bet you like to hit the ball a long way. Well, I do too. Let me show you the elements in my swing that I use to hit a ball a great distance. For me, and I think for most people, a correct grip creates power. Why does a correct grip create power? Well, it allows you to get a total release of the golf club at the golf ball. I try to take as wide an arc as I possibly can going, going back and wide an arc as I possibly can coming through. This gives me a very, very flat approach into the ball, and I hit it as much in the back of the ball as possible. Three, at the top of the swing, I am completely coiled. My legs are in a position to where they can really start to drive. My shoulders and upper body are turned. The club is in a full horizontal position. Now, from this point, I drive with my legs, release the golf club, uncoil my body, and release completely at the golf ball. All these elements help do the one thing that is necessary to create power, and that's make sure that this, the club head, moves fast. What happens to the average golfer when he wants to hit it 10 yards further? Well, the first thing he does is he gets all charged up, he gets all ready to really nail it, and he walks up to the ball. First thing he does, he gets a club in a death grip. Then as he's standing up over the ball, his arms lock up. Then his shoulders and upper body, and then his legs. And now he's really ready to hit it. And what does he do? He sw swings as fast as he can and hits it 40 yards offline. Well, obviously, that's not what you want to do. To hit a ball further, you must use all the elements in your golf swing to their fullest degree. What I mean is that you want to make sure that you take as long and full a swing and allow yourself to complete your backswing, allow your legs to work, and allow to get yourself time to get a complete release at the golf ball. And how do I go about doing that? Well, when I get ready to hit a golf shot, and I want to hit it a little bit further, I make a very conscious effort to be more relaxed and swing more slowly at the start of the swing and try to maintain that pace throughout the swing. After all, this, the club head, is what we want to move faster, not everything else. All the other things do is help that to move faster. So this is what I try to do. I walk up, I get nice and relaxed, make sure that everything is good and relaxed, and take as long and full a swing as I possibly can, but with a conscious effort to remain slower. And that was a long hit.